Welcome to the assembly video for the claw machine pop-up card. Here's a picture of it when it got finished. So step one, we're going to use a little bit different colors here. Uh, we have the main structure piece and some decorative pieces. We're going to glue on these decorative panels onto the main structure piece. And as you can tell, uh, there are two choices here. If you're using straight cardstock, you can um, just use the cardstock as the panel piece. Uh, otherwise, you can use the structure piece along with the decorative piece, which I'm going to do here. So let's just glue on our panels here. Watch out for these side pieces. They have an angle on them and you want to make sure that they're fitting so that the wider side is toward the inside and the uh, narrower part is facing toward the outside. It's a little tricky to see, but um, you can probably see it easier before you take it off your mat and just pay attention to it then. It's our centerpiece. Now, what I'm going to do here is glue it on the wrong direction. I put the grain going sideways and I really should have put it going up and down. So um, I'll notice that pretty soon. I'll be able to pull that off and fix it. So if you are using a pattern paper, uh, don't do what I did. By the way, this card can be made all on eight and a half by 11 paper, letter size. So you can go ahead and print your patterns, uh, whatever you like. So I got this wood pattern, which I like a lot. I did not use oh my goodness, items. So here we go, fixing it. Fortunately, it came off without too much damage. All right, so. Now those three pieces are on and it still folds very nicely. Always good to check that. This is our front panel and I'm going to put the decorative piece on that. This is going to be the front of the panel. So put some glue on there. Place the decorative strip or the decorative piece right on top of it. Now, if you have a white showing or the wrong color showing, you can always grab a little ink and ink the edge of it if you want to. I might decide to do that. Okay, and once the tab is folded down, there will be a little uh, ridge up there where we can put the rest of our uh, panel. So now we're going to kind of glue everything together that are all of our little decorative pieces, our grabber hooks, things like that. So we'll start with the coin slot and that just fits over the little black shadow. So we'll just glue that into place. Okay, line it up. Okay, and there we go. That piece is done. We'll get that on the front panel eventually. These are our side hooks. Uh, they have a shadow piece behind them just to give it a little bit of depth. So we're going to glue that on. Don't glue the top part of the of the arm, the handle part. Just glue about halfway up. If you glue too, uh, actually for the shadow it's fine. When we go to glue these on, you're only going to want to glue halfway up. Obviously for the shadow we want it all the way. Getting a little ahead of myself here. Okay, so I've got that one glued. We're just going to repeat the process with a second one, which we will do soon. Okay, here we go.
You could also use an adhesive dots or something like this to glue it. And place this piece on top of its shadow. Okay, we've got those done. Now we're going to work on the joystick. These are our two little joystick pieces. We're going to put those back to back. Don't glue onto that tab at the very bottom of each one of these. We're going to spread those apart after we get it on its base. I'll just line those up pretty well. Squish them together. And you can tell I can still open these tabs. There's no glue on them. And now I'm going to take that tiny little base and we're going to slip it through that little base, then open the tabs and glue them down. Okay, through the slot. and spread out the tabs and glue them. Once you get the glue on, just kind of spread them out again and then you'll press down to push it against the base. Just like that. It's a little hard to see something so tiny. I'm working on this little black piece of paper because it's so hard to see these little pieces. But there's the joystick. So we are done with that. Now these are the main hook, the hook that's going to be inside of your claw machine. So we're going to go glue those face to face, but uh, actually the back side to the back side so the shiny part is out on both sides. And in between we're going to put a string. In this case I've got a little piece of elastic cord, but it could be just about anything. This allows your hook to move enough to f so your card can fold flat. It gives us a little bit of flexibility. We're not going to use a lot of string here, but for right now we've just got a, I guess a three inch piece or so that I'm working with. It's just easier to hold on to. Okay, we're going to put back side to back side. Get our shiny parts out. press that into place. Now that string is going to make it harder for these two pieces to stick together. So just be aware of that. You're going to have to really press down on it. Make sure it really, really hangs in there tight. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that string fairly long. In the end we're only going to have a short little piece, but we're going to take this string and we're going to be attaching that to the bar, the grabber bar. So let me grab these two pieces. So I'm going to start by gluing them like about halfway, not quite up to where the hole is in the center. That's just going to hold them in place and make it a little easier to work with. So you take this one. Put some glue just on the bottom part of that. Glue it again back to back. Okay, now we're going to put the string through one of the holes, not through both of them, although you could put it through both um, if you forget and there's another little piece of silver that's cut that you could use as a little cap. But in this case it's easiest to put it through one hole. Slide it up. Okay, just pull it across till you have about a quarter of an inch or so hanging down. This is like a quarter of an inch between the grabber bar and the hook itself, the top of the hook. Once you get that, then you can finish, just hold it in place and then finish gluing it. 
by sandwiching it in between these two, it just it's a little bit easier to to glue in and it holds its spot. Again, you know, with string, you're going to have to kind of really push down to get that those two pieces to stick together because in this case it's a little piece of cord and it's a little bit thick, so that cardstock has to work around it. When you're all done with that, just trim off any excess string and that hook piece is finished. Let me show you what it looks like, like this. Okay, and You can tell it's got some you can move it around a little bit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put together the rest of our panel. So I'm going to take this black top piece here. That's the part that's going to hold our joystick and our button. Don't put it on the tab, put it right underneath the tab and against the decorative paper. Okay. So, how's that look? Um, I think I'm going to ink that just a little bit just to make it look a little better so it's not quite so obvious that there's a white backing on this paper. Mm. It's okay. It still shows. I can live with that. By the way, I did ink the wood grain paper, the edges of it, to remove the white edges. All right, here's our little red circles. These are going to stack up to make our button. These go stack, stack up, stack them up. Speeding this up just a little bit so that things move a little quicker here. All right, button is done we can put our button on. So after we get our in the real machine, you get your hook where you want it and push the button to go. All right, our button and let's put on our joystick. So that's our front panel. Um, we can put the coin slot on now or later. I'll put it on a little bit later. All right, so we're up to step three. So this is where we're taking the outer card and we're going to connect the front and the back. The reason we have this connector is to give us a little bit of a gap between these two cards and that will allow the uh, thickness of the pop-up um, not to try to tear the, the two cards apart. So when you put this on, only take it to the score mark that's toward the, the bottom of whatever side you're gluing. So there's actually three score lines on here, a left, a right, and the center. So if I'm gluing this on the right side, I'll only want to take it up to the right score mark. If I'm gluing it on the left side, only to the left. Okay, so now I'm folding that over toward the inside. Again, I'm only folding toward the outermost score mark, not to the very center one. And once this is put together, you'll be able to see that there is just a little bit, maybe like an eighth of an inch or so, of space between these two cards that just 
makes it work mechanically a little bit better. So you can see up there, there that little tiny gap that we've just created. So, the next step is just putting together the front of our card. So center your greeting here. Obviously, you could change the words when you do this, but this is our happy birthday card, so... I'm just going to center it and put our decorations to the top and the bottom. Great. So now the outer card is finished. I've got still this little sentiment card and actually that's a little piece of the front panel. So let's go ahead and finish that front panel now. Could have done it earlier and I just didn't get to it so we're going to do it now. That was a little caution play at your own risk. My first one said, caution, you'll lose your money, but I thought that's not very nice for a birthday card, so. And we're just going to put this, it doesn't really matter, you put it to the top, near the bottom, whatever makes you happy. And that's our, our panel, our front panel. We're done with that. So step five. Here we're just going to glue the edge pieces to the inside of the card. There are two of them. Just put them on the top and the bottom. Okay. Going to finish gluing these. Speed it. I sped this up just a little bit so that, again, trying to get this tutorial under a half hour. Okay, so these inside borders are glued on. These could be decorative paper too. I just chose a solid color that kind of matched my color scheme. All right, we're gonna do the acetate windows next. Um, I had a video glitch and I didn't get a chance to actually show me doing that, but you can see we just I just used the adhesive dots um, and glued them to the inside of that card. Just make sure it still folds once everything is glued in place. That's, you know, as you're gluing the windows in, just check. Okay, then we're going to put on these two little side hooks. Um, the important thing here is to make sure that you don't try to glue the tops of those two hooks to the tops of the top part of the windows because then it won't work. So just on the bottom part of your hook, I'm going to use some adhesive, uh, roll-on adhesive here. And then maybe just a drop of glue on the cardstock itself. Uh, line it up. I, let me check the height on this. Okay, it needs to come up just a little bit, so keep it up just a little bit. Again, no glue at the top. So you'll be able to see that we'll still be able to fold that down. Do the same thing with the other side. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it down because I know from the other one how far up it needs to be. Basically, the hole is about the top of the decorative strip. Okay, and again, both of these fold down just fine. Okay. 
Okay, so we have finished putting on our side hooks. Things are looking pretty good. Up to step eight. We're going to glue the hook assembly that we made earlier. Now that can go, it's going to go across the top. So that's our, our bar and hook. And it will go to the inside of the top panel. I'm just kind of playing with it here so it gets in the orientation that I like best. Um, I can put it across or I can put it up and down. It really doesn't matter. The, the card will work either way. Um, so I glued that into place and takes us up to step nine where I'm just going to go hurry, hurry and put lots and lots of these little teddy bear toys which I used to print and cut for. And I'm going to put those on top of my toy shelf. I'm going to load it up. So I'll just kind of keep on doing it until it's all filled up. Okay, make sure everything's down nice and tight. Otherwise, sometimes the the actual grabber bar can get caught on those when it folds, so just make sure they're glued down nice and flat. And then we're going to fold over that tab and hook it to the inside of the card right um, at the top of the, of the panels. If you line it up to the bottom, it will get you pretty much uh, where you want to be. So you can fold under the under tab and just kind of line it to the bottom. That'll tell you about where to put it at the top. I'm going to put on the panel. So just glue it to the top of where your decorative panel is. Okay, so that's how the panel goes on. All right, we're up to step 11. We're going to glue the tops to the sides. Uh, it helps to hold, fold it flat to do this, but I didn't catch that part on video. So just glue it to the sides. And then we're going to move on to step 12. Here's where we're going to put the stops into place. It's just these little strips and what we're going to do is fold them in half and put glue on the top and bottom tabs and then push that up to the center line, the actual center line this time. Put a tab of glue there and a little bit of glue on this tab. Again fold it in half and line it up to the center line and this is the inside backing and on your SVG that's the yellow part. Uh, I didn't use yellow for this one but that's what it looks like on the legend. All right, so I'm just there's a little slit in there and I lined it up to that little slit. Okay. So you can see when it folds it's going to make a little bit of a of a box shape. That way when we un fold our claw machine, we can use these to kind of push it into place, to lock it into place, so that if the card moves a little bit, it won't collapse. Again, I'm lining it up to the edge of that slit, fold it in half right to the center, and there's our two stops.
to step 13. Okay, this is where we're going to fold our entire piece flat. We've already got the panel on there. Um, I made a mistake the first time when I, on that front panel, um, when you fold that down, don't fold it down completely flat. Um, this is where we're going to put glue. But see how on the uh, one, I'll try to show you a little bit better, but basically the top of that front panel needs to be pushed up so that it's laying against the window, not down against the decorative part. Um, I did that wrong the first time and I had to kind of undo my mistake and fix it, which is never pleasant with glue. Okay, so you want to put glue on the back tabs. There's two on the back. And then you're going to want to put glue on the bottom of the control panel. But again, push that up so that you you shouldn't see that black strip where the joystick and the button are when you glue this down. It should be pushed up. This video doesn't show me doing that because again, I made that mistake and had to go back and fix it. Don't do what I did. Okay, so right now, okay, again, make sure that panel is folded to the top. So the top is against the window. Fold the inner backing over it and just squish it down. If you did everything right, when you open it up, it will open up lovely. If it doesn't open up, check that panel position. That's the most likely mistake. Okay, this is going to take a lot of stress, so make sure it's down tightly. Okay, this is after I fixed the little mistake I made with the panel. So you can see it's opening up nicely, and we can fold it in just a little bit and push those in, and that will lock it into place up to step 17 we're going to just glue this onto the outside part of the card center it inside of those inner borders there okay. nothing really magical about this just Glue it down. Do not take it all the way to the center. Take it up to the bottom of the two score lines. And then you'll put glue on the top and press it closed. And now, voila, when you open it up, you should see your working card. Again, the easiest way to get past those stops is just to fold your card in just a tiny bit and push it over. Um, it will push over if it's all the way open. It's just a little easier this way. Then we're going to go to the step 18. We're just going to put on our inside sentiment. Okay. And uh, should I decorate it? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Alrighty. So this is our finished card. And I hope you like it. Pop it into place and voila. I think it's a fun card.